Alrighty guys, and we are back with more Star Ocean 5. We are here to proceed and go through this pretty large dungeon. It's pretty large. I think that it's the largest dungeon we did so far, but it's not complex or anything. It's literally all oh, go to where you need to go and then bam. Boom, you're done. Boom. I think one of the problems I have with like recent art ja <laughs> excuse me, I had to burp and everything because I just got done eating some bananas and drinking some grape soda. Drinking some grape soda. And uh like I was saying, like one of the problems I have with like recent Japanese RPG releases, like this modern gen of RPGs is that like dungeons don't seem to be that memorable and they don't seem to be like that big of a deal in this game. You just go through it, man. I remember hard dungeons, dude. I remember dungeons being like ridiculously like challenging or just like a frustrating experience. Everything's so free. Like having puzzles and stuff is what I mean. Because I mean right now, <laughs> I mean right now, I'm not talking about the gameplay, about the gameplay being free. I'm talking about like dungeon designs and shit like where there's puzzles you got to figure out. There's like no puzzles in these recent modern RPGs. That's the that's like a problem I have. Like I enjoy having puzzles to figure out. Like Zelda, like I absolutely love Zelda games where there's puzzles and dungeons. You got you got to figure out stuff. But recent RPGs like kind of cut out like puzzle solving and all that. Like I'm trying to remember like the most memorable the most memorable dungeon to me. And the only most memorable dungeon to me in recent RPGs was Tales of Zestaria's Water Temple. And that was the only temple I remember in that game. <laughs> cause it was like, cause it, it had like a frustrating mechanic behind it. You gotta, it was like a puzzle solving thing, but at the same time, it wasn't that hard to figure out, you know? But here we go. Enough about dungeons talk and whatever. Let's just get through this dungeon. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, SGDQ I did. Oh, look at this. And for anybody watching this, and you know, uh, who wants to know what SGDQ is, SGDQ is like a, it's a uh, charity organization or a charity event where people speed run games for charity. And uh, there's a lot of speed runs that happen. It's over the course of a week. There was so much that happened here. And there was a lot of interesting runs this year, I gotta say. The most interesting runs to me were the uh, Castlevania Blind Folded run, uh, the Castlevania Symphony of the Night run, and the Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow run, which was pretty clutch. It was like a lot of interesting uh, things, like, there's a lot of interesting games they speed run this year, and a lot of it was entertaining. Like, the production value has been getting better and better over the years. I highly, I highly recommend that you guys check it out. They, they archived everything already. They archived everything from the event already. More challenges lie ahead. So let's see. Was there anything down here? Well, we have to come back here later, so we're not even gonna focus on that. So anyway. Attack you, attack you, attack you. You're done. You're pretty much done. You're pretty much done. A decisive whip with minimal casualties. Why can't they all? I say I'm a perfectionist. All right, let's keep going here. Let's keep proceeding through this uh, area. Oh boy, we got more of those big guys. We got more of those big men. Big men. Big man! Woo! That one shot though! Good thing I ain't you! <laughs> Damn! Your boy got one shot it. Good thing I had invincibility! Ha <laughs> ha! This setup is so good. <laughs> Oh my girl, please get him back up right now. We need our leader, our so-called leader. He got bopped. He got bopped quicker than... 
fat kid that eats cake. <laughs> I love using that analogy. I love doing that. So we need more MP, huh? Oh wow, there's no save point coming up. But we can loop around, it looks like. Yeah, there's a save point right there and then a healing point. So we're getting closer to the boss. Alrighty, guys. We're almost there. Oh, look how beautiful this is, though. For real. Let's take a look back. Man, I feel like we literally walked through this entire place. Like, this whole place was like, we walked through it, dude. At least the walkable pass, of it, anyway. Anyway, let's go. Save the game real quick. Real quick, dog. Let's save the game, dog. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I just love that. You know. Here we go. We're fully healed. Everybody's looking good. Anne's about to put in his work. Work, 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 work. Oh my god, god, god. Look at look at the amount of SP we ranked up just going through this place. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna rank up Ornamentation. So, we should be able to augment higher now. Yep, four augmentations. And some have higher augmentations than others. Depending on like the base equipment. Critical hit rate. Mm, Ring of the Valkyries, huh? Let's MP cost down. Let's give her more MP cost down. God damn, this is actually about to be dumb. Uh, I think I need to make riot. I need to make riot potions. I'm pretty sure I need to make, like, riot potions, right? Mm, yeah, let's let's make some more riot potions first. Let's go to... I think we should be able to make some. I think we can make riot potions. I don't think we can make riot potions right now. Mission accomplished. Aw, oh, damn it. We can't make riot potions. I thought we could. I thought we could. So let's see, acuity potion, we need earth gems, we need to find a place to farm earth gems right now. I tell you what though, I will use that riot potion currently. So we'll take Mickey's here, we'll give her the riot potion really quick. We'll give her the riot potion. <coughs> so we can give her 15% MP cost reduction What's all this? together. All together. So she totally has a 15% MP cost reduction. Before we go to this obvious boss fight, we're also going to go ahead and heal, or not even heal, yeah, we need to heal, but we're also going to eat some food that would benefit us during the fight. Uh, more, ma more max HP up, maybe? No, let's do, like, attack up if I have it. Attack up for 10%. Attack 30%. Oh, hell yeah. Mmm. And then I'm going to actually activate an angel feather on Anne, and she's about to be... She's about to put in so much work. She's about to do damage. And what, what we want to do now is heal. Uh, 9,000. Let's go. Father! Really? Dad! Master. I didn't even run. They did that for me. If only all cutscenes were like this. It's a trap! They're all over the place! How rude! You just had to go and ruin the production by tattling, didn't you? Tattling? Tattling? Well, it had a stupid story anyway. 
<laughs> a son thinking he could just walk into our lair and save his father? No wonder they're both going to die. Kill them! Wow. Get down and really Will do. Please, no! Oh, okay. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Who else wants some? Oh my god, that's in the way. You can't jump over it. You're done. You're done. My healer is out of the party, so I have to use these. I have to use these regular attacks to heal. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're all done. You're all done. You all get to be done. I got my grapefruit punch and my chicken wings too. This is ridiculous. Surrender. Just make us. Fire. Shoot to kill. What? Oh god, they got go Ooh, goddamn. Mm, what you say? The once great bloodbaths pierced to pieces. At last we know which side will be bested. Okay, man. Withdraw. <laughs> Withdraw. <laughs> Goddamn horrible, horrible lip sync. But that's that's been like that since Star Ocean Four, dude. <laughs> Father. <laughs> no, this this isn't happening. Emerson, can't you guys cure him like you did with Miki? No, we can't. Why not? We have neither our ship nor the right equipment like we did before. <clears throat> Go. Dad. Protect. I'm so sorry you had to protect Relia for me. I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> no, Fiddly. At times like this, you should say... So much, Dad. You protect <laughs> me. R.I.P. R.I.P. I'm sorry. Thank you. Rip in peace. Member out, Daryl. He was never in my party. Come on, fam. I mean, maybe for that one battle, but come on, fam. Daryl's dead. Our friends are dead. Are we back in town? No! I didn't get to loot everything. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well, that's my problem. War calls. Everyone else went to go fight. I don't want to leave his side. I know. Fiddly, you're not going to join them? Am I do I am I supposed to move? Am I supposed to move right here? Don't push yourself. You've tried hard enough already. I can't move the camera, so I guess I can't move. No one will get mad at you if you leave the fighting to others this once. Oh god, it's one of those cinematic moments. Press X to pay respects. Hear that? Doesn't sound like the battle will end anytime soon. Yeah, they want me to move on. How long did they voice this? You should stay close to Pops' side. For his sake. I got all. I'm sure... He doesn't regret his decision. My dad's dead. What am I fighting for? I was trying to protect a little girl. My dad protected his little girl from me. He died in the process. What am I even fighting for? What am I fighting for? Oh, I can't even save the game. I guess I gotta fight for a save point now.
Well, he's not going to be as emo as Edge Maverick. So far, he's not being extra emo like Edge Maverick. Are you sure you're all right? If you get overwhelmed, ah! just... Ah! Sure, so I'd be hard pressed to tell the difference between you and your father now. I'm terribly sorry we couldn't do anything for you, Dad. Stay strong and persevere. You're the only one who can carry on your father's wishes. All right, before we do that, though, did they mess up my rolls? Did they mess up my rolls? No, they didn't. All right, good. Man, who are you running up on, dude? Dude ran up and got smacked up. All right, let's get out of here and go fight. Let's go end this war. Let's end this war. Father for father. For father. No need to hold back. Annihilate them. <laughs> oh, let's go. It's over. You're all done. You're all done. You're all done. Ooh, Divine Spirit of the Language. This is a really good ass song. You, wow. I can't believe they added this back in the game. Divine Spirit of the Language. It feels so weird for them to play an epic ass song for this. Angel Feather on Anne. Oh, you dead. Boy, you dead. Boy. Boy, if you don't get that out of here, I'm invincible. I am superwoman. I am superwoman. Don't you understand this? Get dunked on. <laughs> dunked on that ass. Snuffing out this bastard won't change the course of this planet's Retreat! history. So I have the green light to do it. Get dunked on, my boy. <laughs> Get dunked on at level 32. <laughs> oh! Them strats too OP. That dead man walking, dude. We did it, right? We may have avenged my father, but that won't bring him back. Take his katana. I think that I'd hear you talk about protecting people. That statement is proof that you're now able to care for those around you, to think of people other than yourself. The desire to shelter the weak from danger is one that blossoms in all people eventually. I'd say, You've grown into a fine example of a man. Go! Dad! Protect! Dad wouldn't want me to mourn his death. That would only hinder me from... walking the path he worked his whole life to lead me down. I wanted to give you this earlier. Whoa. It was your father's. Now you deserve to have That's it. That's a big ass sword. Whoa. Cool. We got our father's sword. Guess what? It's time to synthesize it! <laughs> For a better weapon. Alright, let's actually look at the weapon. It's not it's not gonna be Relia has nothing equipped like she should. Well now that we have Relia back, we can give her some of the other um roles so she can take up some of the more useless We can give her some of the other roles like Miser and Altruist and take those all off from like the characters so we can give them better roles. Yeah, this is... I might just fuse this into my laser weapon. <laughs> Fill reserve gauge by plus seven units. From my understanding, you can actually forge this. Oh boy. My god. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually forge that because... 
I was trying to forge it before, but it's so... I, I didn't know what the ingredients were to forge it. But it has, like... If you looked at the factors, the factors to this, it's so ridiculous. Plus seven units. Fill reserve gauge by plus seven units. Now, have, have like, accessories. I'm, I'm not sure if you can put that on accessories, but that's going to be broken if you can. Hold on. Let's go to the sword. Oh, we just got that. Yes. You can put it on accessories. So you can put like three factors of this on an accessory and then four on a weapon. And then that's actually going to help you out so much by being able to fill the reserve gauge. I don't know that. I don't know the ingredients. I don't know the, I don't know the materials needed for it. So if anybody has, if anybody has the, the down, it, like the recipe for it, let me know right now so I can try to farm it. I'm actually going to progress this game a little bit further, and then we'll go crazy off camera. Fitly. I would like to come with you. We would love to have you, but what about the army? As there will be no large-scale operations for the time being, I received permission to escort Lady Brunelli to her homeland. <sighs> What's this? The righteous lieutenant finagled his way into an army-sponsored trip? <laughs> <laughs> an army-sponsored trip. I'm sorry about what happened to Master Camus. I may not have been able to protect him, but I vow I'll protect you. Thanks for the sentiment, but at the same time, Relia is the one we should all be protecting. Ah, good point. To Santoro. All right, to Santoro we go. I follow me as fast tracking. Fast travel. Hold on, before we leave the area, let's check the quest board. <laughs> let's check the quest board. See if there's any quests on the board that we can quest with. Gnome stone and cycle. Yeah, let's just accept it all. Accept it. Ex accept everything. Deliver a sandfish to the bulletin board in Eastern Trade Core. So we need to go catch a, tr a freaking fish. So while I'm here, we should actually probably level up the fishing technique. So now we can probably catch a, a sandfish. So we accepted other quests. We can accept as many as possible. So it's a pretty good thing because we can just accept them all and come back later and hand them all in later. You know, we ain't got to do them all right now. And there's like no miserable quest boards, so what we want to do, do what it do, backtrack all the way to Santoroli. So welcome back guys, uh, we're walking all the way back to, uh, I want to say Nidoc. Uh, we're, we're pretty much about to be on our way to Santoroli, but along the way, we got some scumbags. And I want to show off a trick really quick, I want to know if I can actually get it to work uh, in this game. Because it was like, it, it worked in Star Ocean 4, but a guy... Confirm somebody in the comment section of the videos. I forgot who who their name was, but they pretty much brought it up, and he he pretty much said, "Oh, do you know you can do this trick?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, you can do that trick in Star Ocean Four too." You know, so I'm like, you know what? I should show it off for the people who don't know the trick. So I'm gonna show off this trick, and uh, basically it requires you to let them steal from you. So the first thing we want to do once we get into battle is just literally um kill at least two of them and leave everybody alive, but we're not gonna kill them all immediately. We need to set everybody to manual, so. All right, so now. So we want them to steal from us. All right, they can heal themselves. So we want them to, oh God. I forgot about that roll. Oh, um, you can set rolls during the middle of a fight? What were they thinking? What were they thinking, fam? Ooh, ooh, I mashed the button. That was my fault. I mashed that button. Okay, look how much money we just got. Dude, that wasn't even it. That wasn't even a trick. My bad. That wasn't even what I was trying to show. Like, you can get mad money like that. You can get mad amounts of money. Y'all see how much money I just got, right? Well, anyway, you guys get the gist of it, but I want to show off, like, you can get millions doing this shit. Um, so, first things first. 
We need to go to Skills, Specialties, Ocarina, that ass. I'll take that. Fight in a thousand battles, Ready? huh? So we need these guys to just continuously steal from us. Wow, come on, dude. Come on, bro. So he just stole some money, right? He stole 29, he stole 28. I'm not sure if they can run away in this game because of the seamless world, but... We have to actually make sure he doesn't run away. Alright, he, he stole some money. Y'all see how much money he's took, right? He stole like four times so far. He's actually doing damage too. Alright, you're done. Ooh, he dodged it. Oh, punched him. So, retarded amounts of money. He stole about like 150k from us. 170k. We got 300k back. Somebody do the math. Someone do the math. Where did all this extra money come from? He only stole 170k from us, just about. You know? <laughs> how, how we get all that money back? How we get that money back? I guess we stole all the money he stole from other people. So I guess we're thieves. So anyway, we just made mad money there. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can actually spawn them. I'm, all right, I'm not sure if they run away, but you can just sit there endlessly until they steal like a million and then get like uh, Like if you get a million stole from you, you can just kill them in the battle and get like triple or double You know But right now what we're gonna do is walk all the way back to Senate Roly. I'm not gonna sit there and grind that out because I'm already rich you hit me with Oh, you're done. You're done. You're done. Get dunked on. Get dunked on. You should have never hit me Should have never hit me cuz you should have never hit me The animals on this planet are tough. They're a pain in my neck. It's not like you to complain, Captain. Hey, you want to hear something funny? I just saw a small insect go inside your shirt. <laughs> just kidding. I scared you, didn't I? <laughs> Next time you try something like that, I'm using electric fists on you. Expect Ooh. no mercy. Ah, duly noted. <laughs> Got him. So let's return to Medoc to hand in our quest for Welch and to also uh, pretty much buy some bastard swords so we can try to get some uh, elemental leather. Also, this recipe was also, uh, I, I was informed of this recipe through to Keika, Keiki, Keiki, KK. I'm gonna call him KK. But make sure I don't say it. Two times or three times in a row, because that actually would be bad. Anyway, we're gonna buy some bastard swords. I'm rich, so we're gonna sit here and buy probably like maybe we're gonna buy like 60. No, we're not gonna buy 60, we're gonna buy 30. Oh shit, I equipped it, didn't I? Oh well. This is faster, just to mash it and just rearrange it anyway. Alright. So we're going to equip the laser weapon again. Oopsies. And now what we're going to do, we're going to create some elemental armor for my boys and girls. And girl. <laughs> So, bastard sword, bastard sword, bastard sword, bastard sword, bastard sword, bastard sword, and bastard sword. I don't think I need that many bastard swords. We need about five of them. Ah. Hopefully we make it. If we don't make it, well, we'll buy them again. Oh, elemental leather. Oh, shout outs. We <laughs> got it the first try, dude. Alright, elemental leather. <sighs> Damage from corrupt. Negative 10%. Hey, who are we giving that to? We have... We have Astral Armor. Is that better? No, Elemental Armor is way better than Astral Armor. Wait, Elemental Leather is way better than something that took a Meteorite? That doesn't make sense. 
she can't equip it, can she? No, damn. So Victor is probably going to get that. She doesn't need it. Elemental Leather, we'll give it to Emerson. Damn, that element, though. Lowering the elements. Yeah, he'll, he'll get it. We're also going to make a couple more off-camera for, like, the other males, like, uh... Victor as well as Fidel. Anne doesn't need it because she has Dead Man. Technically, whenever she de unequips Dead Man, we'll probably want to give her some better armor too. So we might as well make her one too. But right now, let's go ahead in this quest for Welch. I'm going to spend time off camera getting other elemental armors. Welch's Laboratory! Let's do this! Hey girl, we got that thing. Oh, I'm in your face. We making out. We making out, girl. Behavioral study. The pen is mightier. Parchment. Let's go. Oops, I forgot to hit the uh, circle button. We're leveling up through quests, which is hilarious. Wow, this data is so precise! Such telling numbers, such meticulous graphing. I can see long-standing problems solving themselves before my very eyes! <laughs> yes, it's all coming together. Must put it to paper. Oh, God. Great judge of character, huh? She's probably making a horrible author uh, book. She's making one of those dystopias, one of those... I'm done. All of my wisdom distilled into one gem of a dissertation. Assistant number five. I knew you were something special when I first set eyes on you. I guess I can add great judge of character to the long list of my talents. Ah, uh, yes. Now that my dissertation's done, the public will be clamoring for my autograph. No time to waste. Number one, help me buy a glove for shaking the rabble's hands. Oh, my God. Nope. Nope. Hey! I said I need your help! Hey! <laughs> we out! You have unlocked the authoring specialty. So let's look at it. Specialties. Now we can make books. We can do the cooking by the book. Nice. Very close to maxing that out. Because we are, in exchange for experience, we're getting more SP. So the more experience we get, the more SP we get. So that's why I'm able to just uh, just build up SP so quickly for those who want to know. Anyway, we want to go to creation, item creation, and see what books we can make. One signet. Oh my God. Order up. One charm. What's this? Nice. We can make seals now. Dark resistance plus twenty. Anything else we can make? Damn, we can make a lot of cars, I tell you that. It's done. One blade, oh my god. It's gonna, like, you can, like, probably make every spell in the game on a card. The ninja info cards, that's what we got right now. We're making ninja info cards. <laughs> ninja info cards. Parchment? Nope, she doesn't have anything else to uh, give us. Are you trying to start something? No, I'm not. So I think at this moment, what we're going to do, we're going to shave the game, take a break. Um, And once we come back, we'll be back with more Star Ocean 5. We'll be back in Santa Roli. And uh, we're going to see what happens in the next storyline. <laughs>